Israel is fascinating. A whole world in one country, and a very special place in the hearts of Jews, Christians, and Muslims. A land with a remarkable history. Israel also attracts many people who want to learn more about the man who changed the course of history like no one else, Jesus. Who was this Jesus? Was he a guru, the founder of a new religion, a Jewish fanatic? You can visit archaeological digs and learn more about him. Archaeology has unearthed new insights into Jesus' life, into past events, personalities, and cultures. Through such excavations and research, we can uncover the meaning of history. You can visit biblical sites and walk where he walked, or read historical and theological books about Jesus. They all tell his story. But there's also another trail which is especially important. It leads directly to his people, the Jews, for they are Jesus' family. Here, Jesus was born and grew up. Here, he worked and taught. The Jews are Yeshua's family, his people. And the Jews play a key role in understanding Jesus because Jewish traditions have remained almost unchanged through the centuries. They've been handed down from generation to generation. Before we visit Yeshua's birthplace, let's go to Jerusalem's downtown area to discover whether Israelis today actually know where Jesus was born. Where Jesus was born. Jesus was born in Nazareth. Uh, Jerusalem. In Bethlehem. Uh, as far as I know, Jesus was born in Nazareth. Jesus in Bethlehem. Nazareth. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. Bethlehem lies south of Jerusalem in the hills of Jericho. It has never been a very big place. In fact, even today, the population is perhaps no more than 20 or 30,000 Christian and Muslim Arabs. Should this be the place where Jesus was born? Bethlehem lies on the border between fruitful fields and the barren desert. Nomads have crossed this arid land for centuries. On the other side are the farmers who till the ground. That's the way it's been for thousands of years. In the surrounding fields of Bethlehem, these scenes are straight out of the Bible. Shepherds herd their sheep in the same timeless way as some 2,000 years ago. When Jesus was born, shepherds on these very fields were the first to hear the news that the Messiah was born in Bethlehem. Their ancient forefathers might have been using these caves. The New Testament tells how angelic beings appeared to these simple nomads to announce the birth of Jesus. When the baby was born, they called him by the Hebrew name Yeshua.